Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. The San Francisco Latino Film Festival gets underway soon, showcasing the world's finest emerging and established Latino filmmakers. And here to tell us all about it is the festival's co-director, Rocio Salazar. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, so this is exciting. This is the actual the 10th year of the festival, which is great. So congratulations for that great milestone. Um, for those at home who don't know too much about the Latino Film Festival, tell me about it. Yeah, so you're right, 10 years is a milestone, a decade of bringing Latino films to the Bay Area. We're very proud, and just like every year, we have something for everybody. Sure, and the attendees, when they come, they can expect watching films from everywhere. Yes, so we have, this year, we're proud to present um, about 100 films from 16 countries, including the U.S. And one of the exciting things is the opening night film, Ruben Blades, I'm mean, a huge fan, Ruben Blades. Yes, huge so fan. it's actually pronounced Blades. Yes. A lot of the Latino community doesn't know that. <laughs> um, it is a documentary about a living legend. He's not only um, a singer like many of us know in the salsa mm -hmm. world, he's also an actor. And many people don't know this, but he actually went into politics and has a law oh. degree from Harvard. So he's a very interesting man. It's gonna be a great opening night film. So this film is about him? And yes. Life. It's a documentary. Okay, so about so a lot of salsa music is going There's to be a lot on. Of salsa I hope music so. in a lot it. of guitar and I always I I grew up thinking he was just an actor first, and then I realized oh he's a musician too. So yeah, huge fan. I think that's going to be great. Um, it is the ten, tenth anniversary. What is the significance of that? Um, it's just really amazing. We are uh, a small organization, so to put on a festival every year uh, is a miracle, a labor of love, and to be able to celebrate a decade of Latino films uh, with the Bay Area and the Latino community is very special. And we invite all of you to come celebrate with us. Like I said, we have over 100 films and we have an opening night party and a closing night party. Over 100 films, 16 countries you mentioned. How do you select the films that participate? It that is. It must be yeah. hard. You must get a lot of entries. Well, because this year was the 10th anniversary, we did have a huge uh, amount of films to go through. There is a screening committee, and uh, we go through each and every film and, and go through a rating system. And then also uh, co-director Lucho Ramirez, uh, he also um, goes and, and finds other films that are not entered into the festival that are sought after. And you get support from the entire Bay Area. A lot of people come out to this festival, but it's something for everyone. You have um, families who come out, young people, older people. Yeah, we have an array of local films and uh, we get a great local crowd, Bay Area pride, to know that we do have films being produced here in the Bay Area. And we have films from all over Latin America. And there's many different themes that are touched upon. There's political themes, gentrification, and then there's the universal themes of love and family. Mm -hmm. So there really is something for everybody. Yeah, the documentaries are the ones that always get me. I love that. Um, anything, you have something a little out of the ordinary this year as well. That's right, the closing night film. That's actually my favorite film um, called Lucas Como Sara, or in, in English, Sniffling Mom. It's actually um, uh, from Cuba, um, so that's really special. And it's actually directed by a female. Uh, I believe her name is Day Garcia, and she's actually the fifth female to ever direct a feature film from Cuba, and it's debuting, uh, it's U.S. debuts with us, so that's very special. It's a, a, a dark comedy, it's really hilarious, um, it's going to be a great closing night film, really and, fun. And to come out to the festival, you don't have to be Latino, and you don't have to speak Spanish. No, we have many films in English, some in Spanish, and we even have some in Portuguese because we feature, feature Brazilian films. Uh, all the films are subtitled if they're not in English, and we get many people from different backgrounds that all just love film. And your favorite film this year, or can you pick? Definitely The Closing the Night, but there's so many great films. We have so many shorts that are really amazing as well. So oh. I definitely encourage everybody to go on our website and find there's definitely a film for you in there. Yes, there's something for everyone. All right, thank you so much for coming thank on the so show. Thank you so much. And remember, the Cinema San Francisco Latino Film Festival is happening September 14th through the 30th. For more information, you can go to sflatinofilmfestival.org. Coming up, an organization helping young professionals become leaders project by project when Bay Area Focus returns in a moment.